Hey guys, welcome back. So until now we have explored the APIs such as the GPT Vision, uh, which came out during the OpenAI Dev Day. And we have also explored it further with uh, scientific images. It can create uh, image captioning. It can speak about the plots or the bar plots or any charts which you there or any graphs or any scientific uh, uh, images such as a microscopy image. All this GPT Vision can do very well. From there, I explored another video where I tried to build an app in HTML, which was nothing but from a sketch. That was the next thing which we did. So there are two videos which leverage the power of GPT Vision and it uh, really worked very well. So there was another API which came out in the same day when this GPT Vision came, the OpenAI Dev Day, was the text-to-speech API. Uh, this was a pretty powerful kind of army of APIs which was released and I always wanted to uh, integrate this in our web development and so I thought why not use this today and the best thing that comes to my mind is nothing but narrating a video. So let's say you upload a video. Uh, you can always convert video to a series of uh, best 64 encoded frames. Those are nothing but images and then you use the GPT vision. GPT vision is something which we have used before. So it's really reading another image. And from that image, you create this audio file. So these are the two uh, or, or rather say three building blocks. Upload a video, convert that into images. And then we use the GPT vision uh, to describe that image. And finally, the new uh, TTS, this new model text to speech will create an audio. So what it becomes a narrator of our own video. So that is something which uh, I think would be great project for us. And I really want to demonstrate how we can do that. So it's about turning videos into voiceovers using OpenAI models. Uh, if you actually hover over OpenAI cookbook, uh, this is something uh, very similar to that. I just made it into a web app. So the whole thing is built over data button. It's an online platform uh, to build, share and deploy your web app. It's very easy. It uses the front end as Streamlit. So you will see a lot of Streamlit uh, API, Streamlit uh, code out here. That's it. And it's so easy that, you know, you can actually install out here, right here using the configure. All this, I have separate videos where we uh, discuss how to use data button. I have a lot of projects using data button. So if you just go to this configure page, you can easily install your dependencies. And then also you need OpenAI API key for sure. Data, data button has its own uh, API client, which helps to store it as a secret. These are a few like prerequisites which you need for this. We have this file uploader. You can already see that, right? A file uploader is there. So I'll just browse a file and upload a, a short video file, particular video file. I will show you uh, what this file is about. So basically you can watch this video. It's a nice muffin spreading some sugar coating out there. That's how this file is about this. It's a MP4 file. So basically it's a, a video, a short video. And how this part work? I'll go step by step. Okay, I'll show the code as well because I feel that's important to understand. In the Streamlit file uploader. And then if there is a video, we create an expander, which is called watch video. Exactly this thing. And then uh, we just show the video using st.video. That's pretty straightforward, right? Using Streamlit. The next step which comes is convert video to the frames as we discussed out here from video to frames which we need to create this particular part from video mp4 to images and this image will be passed later to GPT vision. So for that uh, we need to write a separate function. This is very crucial in this case. So this function is called as video to best 64 uh, frames. And this is the function out here. We are using a particular Python package called as OpenCV. Uh, you can install it like this here you just need to go to the configure write down this particular name it will get installed what this video to base 64 frame is doing it's converting videos to a series of base 64 encoded frames it's each and every frames are getting con uh, it's converted okay so i'll just show you if i hit this convert video to frames it's it shows us it converted to 256 frames read that's something right it converted directly to 256 frame read and this is happening because the video gets read. First it reads the file and then it also stores a temporary file because we are not working locally, we're working over data button. And it opens the file, it encodes each and every of these frames and then gives us the best 64 frames. 
and we store it as a session state it's just so that we don't uh, do this step each and every time and once this step is done the next part was what from this image we generate a script by passing it to uh, our uh, gpt for turbo vision api we go to the next step where we create a prompt first and that prompt is passed to our gpt4 uh, vision api this is the same exactly in my last video so you have if you have not watched those videos please watch it uh, there i have explained these steps so what this api needs this client.chat.completions.create it is uh, these endpoints have little different now uh, openai has released their uh, v2 version or v1 version of sdk so you'll see it's it's a bit different from the older times but it's same the chat.completion.create is the same endpoints here you pass the model which is your gpt4 vision preview you pass your message or the prompts this is very important as well okay and this message has few things it has your uh, content and content is taking a bit of your uh, prompt which is very important so here these are the frames from a cooking show video generate a brief voice over script in the style of famous narrator capturing the excitement and passion of uh, holiday cooking only include the narration this is my prompt which i have given and then i passed few of the frames which i have already uh, converted i passed few of them gpt4 vision previous smart enough to do that okay so that's the prompt message which i pass here and i create the maximum tokens it's 500 you can just increase it as well now uh, doesn't matter that much and then i stream that video so that you know it doesn't take so much of time so this whole process i will just hit this generate script button so now the generate script button is running you will see each and every line will be a uh, kind of stream there this takes a bit more time but you can see the script is getting generated in the heart of holiday kitchen where magic and memories intertwine and artisanal dance unfold so i won't read this whole stuff uh, we will create an audio for it right uh, so that's something which creates this as a streaming pattern uh, this is done by this part where we loop over uh, the whole uh, chat completion and if there is actually a content we just dump it this is uh, i have actually one video more uh, about how we do the streaming over streamlit you can check that video it's very straightforward i also allow a place for the text to be edited so like so there are a lot of times when you feel like editing the script so you can easily change that as well so we have now went to the next step where we create a kind of a script using the gpt vision from here we went to uh, this part where we could generate a script out of our images or here we say a video right uh, the next part is about from this script if we can create a audio file so now it becomes text to speech which is this whole new api about the what this api is it's basically uh, if i just go back to this uh, particular example you see the api the model is tts1 if i'm not wrong that there were two one is the hd version one is the normal version the tts1 td1 uh, tts1 hd version we'll use uh, this is good enough for our purpose at this moment and it has different voice options you can explore this api there are a lot of voice options and uh, it, it gives us a audio file mp3 format the output format but other formats are also supported so this what a new api endpoint which we'll use today so let's go to that uh, meanwhile i will actually click this button uh, the generate audio so it's now working on it generating the audio but what happening under the hood so we come back to the code so we are uh, we are sending a post message to here you see this part uh, we are passing our api key we are passing the whole script out here this is the whole script which we generated by the vision the description of those images and the voice here you have different types we use right now i think fable you can just go for echo alloy each of them has a different voice tone okay it's it's just the voice pitch uh, varies among them you can click each of them and see how it varies that's the only thing so these are the different arguments which this particular api endpoint accepts now the tts model and once it's there all i do is i create a temporary file that is in dot mp3 because we are again not working locally and i just uh, send this whole stuff uh, over uh, over st.audio so this or uh, this audio file which is created is just passed over streamlit.audio 
and also I enable a download button in case you want to use it later why not so now since we have went through each of them let's see how the audio is generated so if you see from up uh, from this particular uh, video uh, we from this video we generated the whole audio here it's it's pity that I cannot show you uh, I cannot just uh, voice over when it's creating but you can get the idea right so I play this now I won't speak I won't speak anything so in I the heart of the now. holiday kitchen where magic and memories intertwine an artisanal dance unfolds as hands delicate and poised sprinkle a dusting of snowy sugar upon peaks of chocolatey wonder these are not merely muffins ladies and gentlemen they are the vessels of cheer the chocolate clad heralds of celebration as each fleck of sugar lands a star is born atop these tender moist mountains of flavor the air is rich with anticipation the table set with care for today we revel in the joy of creation the artistry of holiday so you can actually always edit this and make it shorter or you can extend this all together so this was all about it you see from a video from this simple video we could create a whole audio file which you can embed in our own web app and this was very straightforward it was nothing there we used two apis right there one is the gpt vision other is the tts these two apis with just few lines of code we could actually create this whole uh, narrators or this voice over over our videos so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we have now created a series where we actually used or leveraged both gpt4 vision the tts api both of them the text to speech api and we created a app at least three apps which we have created now so please write down your comments what you think about it what you would do what kind of projects you would like to make further or extend it further i'll be very happy to listen to you guys and all the codes which i've used it will be out there in my github all the resources which i've used for example for this video i have used this uh, putting sugar on top from pixels uh, this particular video which i have downloaded i will also put everything right there in the description box so that you can easily go there and test this whole app so until then cheers